So, as you know, I'm doing my uni course and uh, I'm doing a bit about like basically a digital footprint, yeah. And um, there's one like sort of quiz that's like just, it, it's kind of just talking about, you know, are you aware of what a digital footprint is? Are you aware of yours? And it's explaining that your digital footprint is like whatever your name sort of leaves on the internet kind of thing. And I was kind of looking at it thinking, hmm. Am I aware of my digital footprint? And sort of thinking about it, the amount of people who know I am off RuneScape, off different drug forums, uh, off 4chan as well, off different parts of the internet, definitely off YouTube, obviously, uh, mainly for drugs and that. I'm thinking, shit, mate, if I put my fucking name or someone, if someone searches for my YouTube name and see my face, like, uh, yeah, I'm not getting a fucking job nowhere. But it's it's not it's not panicky uh, to learn of that, and they're sort of asking if you're aware of it, this, that, and the other. Uh, it's very remedial part of the course, but I have only just started the uh, IT course at the moment, and yeah, I don't know. It, it's kind of weird uh, going back through this sort of uh, the digital information thing, uh, looking at where we are now, like uh, with with the computer I've got now. It, it's quite out of date. I think it's like a. 2012 model or maybe a 2011 2010 model and um i dropped it once so this this one i'm on now my other ones are all right you know play sort of modern games this one i'm on now can only play old school runescape which is why i made so many videos of old school runescape because i was bored and i had nothing else to play right but you know a computer now if i were to buy a 500 good computer an actual you know standing computer i don't mean a laptop like this shit box that i'm filming from i mean an actual computer yeah just what i could run uh, I, I can't comprehend like i don't know enough about technology we talk about the specs but just i kind of remember maybe 10 years ago no not, not 10 years ago maybe 13 years ago 14 years ago when i was in school yeah uh, in in primary school 14 15 years ago something like that yeah and I remember that we had those sort of standing computers and they weren't the most powerful model, but they were, I think they were within about two or three years uh, of the time. And I had to use a, we had to use a floppy disk. We, we were all using floppy disks. It was the only way to uh, sort of uh, well, save your work or do anything. And, you know, I was reading on my course about, you know, floppy disks have, when we had the first computers, uh, when we cracked the Enigma with the machine that we used to crack the Enigma, it took uh, several days to process and stuff like this. And it, it's kind of crazy uh, and kind of amazing to look at the history of digital technology and to look at all this stuff. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, I do wonder where we're heading. And it, it's amazing to look back just because I've seen within my lifetime. I'll sh I'll sh Hold on, I'll show you my phone right now. And, and you guys, you guys will laugh. You guys will tell me it's a shit phone. Oh, maybe, maybe I won't show you my phone. I, I can't fucking find it. Hold on, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna go find my phone. I'm back. Yeah, this, 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 this shit box. This is the phone I use. Yeah, this, 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 this shit box. This old piece of shit. It's a Doro. I don't even know what a fucking Doro is. I'm not sure if it's that outdated, but you know, this is just about in, this is just about in color, yeah. If I were to approach you on the street and say, "Do you want to buy my phone?" you would probably say, "No, it's a piece of shit," right? If I went up to you on the street and said, "Do you want to have my phone?" depending on where you're from, you might say, "Yeah," or if you're just one of those people who wants something for free, you might say, "Yeah," but actually. Most people in a main city, even homeless people, would just sort of look and say, no, I'm busy, or have you got any money? Like, if I were to give this to a homeless person in the United States, they might not even, if they've, because they might not even take it, they'd probably have a smartphone or just another shit phone like this, to be honest. And, um... The amount of time it would take them to sell this for the two dollars they get, it's not actually worth them taking it off me. Right? And now looking at this phone, I remember being in school, as I said. 
how many years ago? Eight, nine years ago, something like that. Eight years ago was my last year, something like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I remember having a Motorola Razor when I was about 12 or 13, and that was some cutting edge technology, yeah? This is actually better, I think, or equivalent to the Motorola. No, it's better. I've seen the picture quality. It's better than the Motorola Razor, the, the, the first one I had, yeah? If I went back in time and tried to sell this, I'd get about $300 for the thing, probably. That's within about 10 years, that's crazy. And for me, uh, I don't know, it's not hard for me to imagine going forward, uh, yeah, just seeing this sort of new digital trend, uh, all the digital information uh, thing as well. Uh, sorry, that wasn't anything to do with digital information, that's just sort of, I just like talking about computers going forward. But yeah, let's get on with digital information. So. What, what interests me about digital information isn't really just its uses and applications. It's just a level to which that we're a part of this digital world now, uh, most of us. Even most people who aren't like generally on social media, like nearly everyone's on social media, right? In one form or another. Even if you're barely on it, even if you barely use it, there's still that imprint of you there on social media most of the time, yeah? And for those of you uh, that do use it frequently, you know, you're probably on it an hour a day or something at least, something like that, a couple hours a day. The amount of stuff that we do digitally now, like a lot of us shop online, uh, a lot of us, you know, watch YouTube now, you don't watch TV channels, we've got different social media outlets, you know, we go on 4 we've got Twitter, we've got Reddit, Tumblr, you got Facebook, MSN's kind of... Uh, you know, message is kind of dead. But, you know, you, you get the picture. There's a lot of uh, different social networks now. You know, and even, even if you, okay, even if you don't go on any of that shit, fuck that shit. You probably play video games. And they're probably mainly on the internet. You know, there's a very small amount of people now who are not on the internet or who don't go on the internet very often. And it's pretty crazy, like, the amount of information that I've produced digitally, like, I've, I've signed petitions and shit, um, I've gone to events and stuff, you know, I've said so many different things in chat, I've produced so much on, quite a lot on YouTube, actually, when I look back to how much I've done, I've done 200 and something videos, a lot of them are low quality, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of time I've put into it, it's a, a trace I've left, my digital life, um, which I've only actually been properly active in in the last three years, there's probably more records on the internet of me than exist on paper in the real world, and that's from three years. Now, I've deleted a lot of Facebooks, uh, a lot of YouTubes and stuff like this in the past from, and you know, gaming accounts and a lot of details going 10 years back, something like this, when I was first going on the internet properly. You know, if, if I were to look at how much I've put in that I've deleted, yeah, and compare it to the real world, I've put an astonishing amount more onto the internet uh, than exists of me in the real world. Some of it is an aliases, some of it is, uh, you know, genuinely who I am as well. But, you know, it's just crazy to me uh, to think how much uh, we're part of this digital world, like... I'm I'm in South America here. This this country I'm in isn't. You wouldn't call it third world. You wouldn't call it. It is developing uh, country, I think, but it's not. It's not a poor developing country, but it's not. You know. It's not rich like England is or any other country like that. And. Smart TV. Yeah. One smart TV, in the main room as you walk in. Yeah got an internet box here yeah that internet box is uh, I think it's 200 MBP with a maximum of 280 MBP which is uh, megabits not megabytes per second which is pretty high internet speed yeah in this room there's another TV smart TV there's a computer yeah smart TV my other laptop. Smart TV in there. Smart TV upstairs. Right? You get the picture. 
there's a lot of smart TVs and computers and you know we're spending a lot of our time on the internet right smartphones everyone's got a smartphone except for me I'm the only person who's got a phone from four million years ago yeah when when I walk down the street in South America not not in Chile not just in Chile where you know it's quite developed because that wouldn't be fair I mean like in Ecuador in the poorest parts of Peru people way poorer than me they all have fucking smartphones it's crazy it's crazy and they're all on Facebook they're all on YouTube they're all on different social media outlets you know and they're all uh, they're all active internet users and I sort of remember when I was last living with uh, friends I was in with a couple you know they were a very nice couple but one thing that ticked me off about them even though they are very good people so if they see this I don't want them to take it wrong if anyone else sees this it's not a bash at them uh, they are very nice people if you've met them well you know they're nice people always bloody cooking for everyone inviting bloody everyone round get grumpy about that but they were really nice but yeah anyway anyway one thing that griped me is they'd invite everyone round which was nice we'd have a nice social gathering sometimes it was too much for me and uh, you know they'd all sort of sit and uh, watch a smart TV we in all fairness we did go out and we did uh, do a lot of different you know activities in the real world you know uh, the, or the non-digital world should I say but a lot of it was arranged through Facebook events you know we make an event to say we're going down to the beach to dance to play you know a lot of people would um, look at these events on Facebook some of them made videos of them uh, doing different things uh, some kind of dancing stuff they were doing and they made videos that they put on Facebook this kind of thing this was back when I had that Facebook it's uh, it's it's weird right but then you know it's weird to think how much of their time socializing now is uh, them sort of socializing watching videos and then kind of ignoring each other and going on smartphones sometimes it was very active but a lot of the time, you know, it was just smartphones. And that's not, like, unique. It's not like that particular friend group is really, really antisocial. No, that's that's a pretty standard thing now. Like, uh, people don't look at newspapers. They look at smartphones, which means their digital footprint is going to be bigger because, you know, they'll be spreading their name out into the world more. And, yeah, the... Uh, the amount of digital information being transferred is massive in comparison it's increasing a lot and it's not just like Facebook and stuff like that it's apps as well you know apps that take uh, your details and this kind of thing let's say like a, a lot of women that I know who are health conscious uh, my mother is a good example or not my sister but a lot of women I know have a like smart exercise apps on their phone and they'll go for a walk or whatever and they'll check how many calories they're burning and all this shit that that is collecting data on you right which means there's more digital information after that's finished collecting that data that data then gets converted that raw data into information and it gives you a bunch of statistics and that is there forever probably <laughs> so it's 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 amazing for me to imagine just the transformation you know the transformation that's happened because I remember maybe uh, yeah when I was a lot younger when I was in school in my secondary school I set myself on fire on the uh, playground and so did my friend not properly on fire just a little bit of deodorant can a little bit of fire set my pubes on fire and we put that onto YouTube with the school name and all that shit. It got taken down a while ago, a while after that. And, you know, we'd maybe go on the internet for 20 minutes a day, maybe an hour a day for a few weeks of our lives because, well, we played old school RuneScape, Warcraft 3, whatever, yeah? But we weren't really on it that much. And it wasn't just because we were kids in school because the kids in school, uh, I, I know because I've got... Uh, younger siblings they do this at school um, but this 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 isn't a bash at what they do I'm just saying that 
it's crazy for me to watch the difference in information transferal now. Like, you have to understand that every single kid in school on their smartphone, every single person on that smartphone, they're producing so much digital information. And it's not, you know, to me, a good or a bad thing. It's just incredible for me to watch the amount of digital information online. Anyway, sorry for rambling on. I just kind of needed to get that digital information thing out there. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and peace.